the first thing that you will see, and, and this is a, a I mean, demo that we that we have built with Carto, but the first thing that you will see on this screen is what we call the export view. In this export view, you have access to all your footprint, um, and you can see the legend here. You have uh, different formats, hypermarket, express, mall. You have a few widgets on the right-hand side that can be refreshed automatically as you will zoom in or zoom out. It will adapt the distribution of stores by sales, for example. You have the list of stores, and all of these can be adjusted and customized based on everyone's needs. On the left-hand side, you can see a few filters. You can decide to select just specific formats. You can, of course, filter on sales or any uh, any dimension that you want and that you need to see will be there. You can, for example, show all the stores that are currently being developed. You can decide to show other retailers and competitors and also color code different block groups based on demographics, based on traffic, based on mobile data, for example. So you have a lot of flexibility in terms of what you can show on the screen. But where the, the magic tree comes from is being able in just a few clicks to launch a white space assessment. So if you click there, you will be able to adjust a few parameters for to run a white space assessment. You can either decide to input what is the minimum cash and cash uh, returns that you want for your next stores, or you can adjust and, and decide to show uh, just that in terms of sales. So for example, here, you'll be starting a white space model where you just want to have all the stores in the US that have at least a predicted sales of at least $1.5 million. You also, of course, have uh, the other main criterion, which is cannibalization. So for example, here, we would be selecting just the trade areas that have a maximum predicted cannibalization on any surrounding store of about 10%. And you have the ability of running these white space assessment just for a specific uh, DMA or for anywhere uh, in the US. And then you will just type in a name and run the white space. What this does, once you have, uh, once you have run this white, sp this white space, you will see some different You will see these shapes that appear, and each of these shapes are rep represent a specific trade area that the model has screened over 200,000 commercial centers used as seed location in order to check prediction. What could be the store performance if you were to open the store there? And it has selected the trade areas that meet the criteria. So above 1.5 million sales and um, under 10% uh, cannibalization. And this is basically what you will give either to your franchisees, to your development team, in order to tell them, this is a great area to look for a site. Let's connect with our broker and let's try to find some real estate. And as you can see, if you click on the trade area, you have different, um, a bit more specific prediction the AUV is between 1.8, 1.9, predicted cash and cash, cannibalization. And you can also uh, draw different catchment area based on dry time, radius, distance, some demographics aggregated within this area. And you can also explore in street view or get the satellite view if you want to look for a site uh, before driving there. And then we have also developed what we call the drop a pin feature, which is basically uh, very simple, but let's just say you find a specific like real estate and, and commercial real estate available somewhere, you will drop the pin exactly where you have found it, set the location. You can either input some specific data point for this specific site in terms of EBITDA margin, cost of implement, uh, the access from the street, how, how easy it is. You can enter and we have simplified it, but you can enter many, many different uh, variables there and then run specific store simulation for this very specific pin. So it's, it's really a, a two-step process. One, run the white space, identify the trade areas that meet the criteria for your new stores, then connect with your broker. And once you have found 
a great site, run the dropper pin prediction, and if this prediction for this very specific pin still meet your criteria, then you can move to the next step, which is submitting the, the site for approval and, and developing it. 